doing a review today. I'm doing a movie review in a movie that I discovered at my local library. Yes, I was cruising the aisles of the movie section, as I always do, and I came across a movie called Sing Street. Never heard of it or anything. It is from Ireland. It's an Ireland, it's an Irish movie, um, and it's set in the 80s. It was made in, uh, or it was released in 2015, but it was but it's set in the 80s, uh, like I said, in Ireland and everything. And it is pretty much about uh, this young man here who, uh, youngest of three kids, uh, his parents, uh, lives with his parents and everything. A um, little shaky uh, home life and everything. Like, you could tell that the parents are kind of having... Uh, some differences and everything. There's some financial burdens and everything. Like, for example, the young man has to pretty much switch schools because they can't afford the school that he's in right now, so they switch. Uh, and this uh, new school and everything, he's kind of having a hard time. He kind of has a, a bully and everything. Teachers are a little hard on him. Like, one of the teachers, uh, it, of course, it's like a Catholic school. So, yeah, uh, back in the 80s, too, like, still weren't fucking around. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, like, there's this, uh, uh, priest, teacher, principal, whatever, that keeps calling this kid out about his shoes, and, like, you need black shoes, and the kid's like, well, kind of what I have, like, I literally switched schools because my parents couldn't afford the other school, and I literally cannot afford another pair of shoes, I just bought these shoes, I can't afford other shoes. So, you know, kind of his struggles and everything, and he meets this young girl who she says she's a model and everything, and he wants to impress her, so he automatically says, oh yeah, I'm in a band, you know, and he goes, tells one of his little, like, friends that he just met of, like, okay, we need to start a band. Like, now, we need to find people who play instruments and everything, like, we need to start a band. He starts writing songs and everything. Uh, you know, fun little, fun little movie, but it's such a, a, a nice coming of age type of story you guys know i love me some coming of age stories uh this is definitely one of the, like the better ones i feel this is like up there i feel like it's a really good coming of age story you feel for this kid like there are certain things that like you know i could relate to with this kid and everything even though i didn't grow up in ireland going to a Catholic school and starting band, but there's certain elements in here that is just, uh, like, if you meet someone, you're like, oh, I just want to impress them and everything and try and do things. I, and that's the thing, too. Like, I, I like that he, you know, started this band and everything just out of a whim and wanting to kind of impress this girl, but it ends up working out for him. It wasn't just one of those things where it's like, dude, you did that to impress a girl. It like, it works out for him. So I'm just saying he has a fun little band that's like getting a little traction and everything. Um, and really showing too in this movie of like, something that I like about this is, you know, if you want to do something, you got to work for it. dude. You can't just like pick up a guitar and like expect to like, play like Jimmy Page or Jimi Hendrix or Joe Walsh or, you know, any sort of artist or anything. So, but yeah, no, it's a fun one. It's, I liked it, you guys. I definitely, I really would not mind uh, picking up a copy of this and putting it in my collection. Like, I, this is one that I could see myself watching again. So I'm just saying, I was going to say again and again. I probably could watch it again and again and again. And that's the other thing too, like the the songs in here. Um, because I did watch the little special feature, the making of in here, and, uh, I liked how they did the songs and everything, because it was kind of like, you could hear, like, some of the songs, they kind of rearranged a little bit, so that way it, it when you heard it, you kind of were like, wait, this song, song sounds familiar, but it's like an original song for the kids that they wrote and everything, kind of showing some of their inspirations of this band of why they started this band and where they want to go with this band. So, but yeah, the songs are pretty, are pretty catchy and everything like, and you got a good, uh, selection of, of songs in here that I give, you know, the, you know, sort of kid actors like credit for, like, you know, I know like they didn't write the actual songs, but I don't know. I give them credit, you know, I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. So, no, it's, it's a fun one, you guys. This is definitely, um, like I said, I'd never even heard of this movie before until I was cruising my aisles of my local library and everything. But, yeah, this one is good, you guys. Definitely, if you guys find this on, like, Netflix or Tubi or, you know, some streaming service or at your local library, definitely check this one out. I think some of you guys really sort of enjoy this one. I know it's not horror or anything, but... I'm just saying, for any of you who have, by chance, have seen this, let me know what you think of it and everything. I would love to know whether you loved it, hated it, whatnot, whatevers. Uh, but yeah, definitely keep your eyes out for this one, you guys. But till next time, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.